Hi, and welcome back. As you can see, I have my Tram 1499 antenna taken down, and I bundled up my 100 feet of coax cable. As you can see, we have 100 feet of RG8X coax cable. And what we're go going to do is we're going to get our test meter here. And the first thing we're going to check is for shorts in the coax. All right, I have my inexpensive multimeter that I bought on Amazon. I think it was around $20. And I have it set on continuity right now. And what continuity will do is when we do have continuity, it's going to beep. Now we're going to want continuity between post, the post and shell to shell. What we don't want is continuity between shell and post, which will mean we have a short in the cable. All right, let's check for continuity. We'll go from post to post first. Let's try. Good. Let's go from the shell to the shell. Good. And then we want to make sure we don't have a short between the post and the shell. So we'll connect the post to the shell. And there's an open circuit in there. So there's a uh, no short, no continuity. So we're good there. Now my Surecom power SWR meter came with a 50 ohm dummy load. So we're going to hook it up to our coax and take a reading and it should be around 50 ohms. Now I had to put on an adapter to make it fit my coax cable. So I just happened to have one laying around. And let's do a quick test on it. I just took this out of the package, brand new, and we should get a 50 ohm reading. So we go over to our test meter here and we're going to go to resistance ohms and we'll put it on the lowest setting which is 200. all right so we are going to go to where the post is in the outer shell and we should get close to 50 ohms let's try it 50.3 i would call 50.2 okay right at 50 ohms all right, I put the 50 ohm dummy load onto one end of the 100 foot coax, and then we'll uh, touch our leads on the multimeter, and we should be pretty close to 50 ohms if everything's good. All right, so let's go ahead and touch our leads. This is kind of hard to do here. And we are at 53.5 ohms. While we're at it here, I thought we would go uh, check the resistance between post to post. And I was reading that it should be between one and two ohms. So let's go ahead and check that. Oops, let's get this in a little closer. And we're right around 1.0 1, 1 to 1.1, which is totally acceptable within that range. All right, one more test I'm going to perform here. On my 100 foot uh, coax cable here, I have the dummy load. And then I took my Surecom SWR power meter and hooked it up to my ham radio. And what I'm going to do is 
key up the mic and our SWR should be around one if the dummy load is working correctly and we're not losing any signal through the cable. Now, ideally, I wouldn't have the cable coiled up like this. Um, it should just be kind of loose and free, but I don't feel like cutting the ties and doing that. So, just for testing sake, because everything so far appears to show that the coax is good. So, let's go ahead and key it and check our SWR, med our SWR reading. Okay, and we're right at 1.01, .01, which is excellent. So I would say the coax is fine, uh, no problems there. Yeah, with all the readings being good on the coax, I would say our problem probably lies in the antenna for sure. So there you have it, bad antenna, good coax. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.